Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim where I'm going to fly the PMDG DC-6 with Noah Livery out to take a look at Typhoon Hinamnor. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that but it looks like Hinamnor. It is looking like the strongest cyclone this season and we are taking off from Shimojishima and potentially landing at Taipei. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but it looks like the outer branches of the cyclone are already hitting Shimojishima. In fact, this part is past it, already striking, oh, everything. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, actually, uh, when you look at it, uh, this, this whole cloud thing is stretching all the way across, isn't it? And then there's a whole other cyclone here off the coast of uh, Alaska. That's, that's really impressive when you take a look at that. But anyway, we're focusing on this bit right here, which is sort of the tail end of this rather large wisp of clouds and yeah we will see how it goes we probably want it in daylight uh, actually uh, current time should be fine okay well, let us go Seven to the south. okay we are just starting it out with everything up and running and we'll take off the gust lock and we can take a look outside and see our livery this is uh, downloadable on flightsim.to Just check to make sure everything is okay. Our flap should be on takeoff. I don't know why it starts out all open instead of where it has marked for takeoff. It does do that. Oh! A little bonanza just flew by. Alright. Well, here we go. And release brakes. Uh, okay, Bonanza, where are you going? How is that thing backing up like that? I, I didn't realize Beachcraft Bonanza's had a reverse. Now, it doesn't seem like it's very windy, but I'm, I'm sort of tilting to one side here. <laughs> Why is that? Um, come on. Okay, well, I think there is some wind effect going on here. It's not that strong, but it's present. Well, this VFR map doesn't really have our uh, wind situation here. And that's sort of important for this. Let me see, there's the other map. That is also a mod. This says 25 knots. Uh, just keep that up there just so you know what kind of wind we're facing. We don't need to go too high, I don't think. Get some carburetor heat on. Okay, carburetor temperature looks fine. Oil pressure is question mark. Okay, we're all in the green as far as engine stress visualization. Okay, looking quite good. Still not going particularly fast. Well, in theory, our custom waypoint was about where the eye of the storm was, at least on the world map, so we'll see. Well, never exceed speed is uh, 300 knots, so we got some room here. Well, not too horrible yet. Okay, well, I've set the autopilot on so that it can hold about 5,000 feet. And our current attitude, which uh, is compensating for the wind a bit, but should take us all the way out there. Currently seeing about 41 knots of wind, but we've got a trip ahead of us to get to the heart of this storm. Speed is about 240 knots ground speed. I'm not sure what altitude hunt, uh, hurricane hunting planes normally fly at. I'm guessing 5,000 isn't too bad, but maybe we need to go lower. Once we get closer to the eye, we will. 
Well, the cloud layers are getting a bit thicker around here. Wind's still about 43 knots. Our oh, pilot seems to be holding things stable. Engines seem stable. Okay, we are steady past 50 knots wind speed now, 52 knots. And you can see where we are relative to our waypoint and also relative to Taiwan over there. I guess that might be a good reference. Just looking it up, the uh, uh, NOAA website says that the strongest winds in the eyewall are found near 1,600 elevation. So uh, I think we should go down a bit if we want to get the real brunt of this. So 55 knots now though. Wind direction has changed so that it's basically against our flight path now. And approaching 60 knots. Pretty sunny out though. The seas look rather disturbed, however. That seems realistic at least. Okay, 60 knot winds now. Oh, 62 there. It would certainly be a lot more interesting with uh, ultralight or a less sturdy plane, but an ultralight in particular is something that, or like a Piper Cub, that uh, those like 70 knots would be very interesting at this point. Uh, with our current flight path being against the wind, it would look like it was standing still. Still flying though. I tried that out in X-Plane 11 once. It'll just stay flying, but it won't be going anywhere. Not a whole lot of clouds around here still though. I feel like the cloud rendering is not really keeping up with what's going on, but we do have sort of a cloud wall in front of us there. We'll have the Alpha Hole 2200. Seems good to me. 1,600 is a little bit uncertain, like I said. I think we're close enough and probably well below 2,200 actually. Uh, I think this might show us the actual... Out yeah. So in the cave is 2,200. Our actual altitude is 1,300. That's how different the barometric pressure is. Um, I, I guess I'll adjust that. Well, that's pretty close right there. So about 29 inches. I mean, it says actually over there 28.97 and 981. Oh, actually, it, I think they have those backwards. I think the 28.96 is uh, inches HG and the 981 is hectopascals. Anyway, they have those numbers there. Um, I think we should go a little bit higher. <laughs> Sorry autopilot. Disengage again. Tumultuous seas. If this was a real NOAA plane, we'd definitely have a weather, ra weather radar. Oh, it's, uh, it's not really holding altitude at all. Our altitude is definitely going down here. Okay, it doesn't look like you can hold it down here. I'll just manually do it. Our ground speed is much slower now. We have uh, 70 knot headwinds, so we're only going 173 knots ground speed. I think this says that, is it? Uh, nope, it only has the airspeed there. But we can figure that out. 74 knots now. 75. Things are picking up a bit. So again, the custom point was close to the eye. That will change over time. 
Is it gonna give me a reason to use the windshield wipers? Oh, there's some turbulence there. Not a whole lot of gusting though. I do have the autopilot off now, so if it wanted to knock me around it could. Oh, we do have uh, rain. Uh, I should probably get some lights on. Well, pretty dark clouds out there now. Wind is somewhat variable now. Not too much faster than it was before though, uh, in fact a little bit slower, we did hit 70. Close to the eye the wind direction should change very quickly. I'll back up in knots here. Uh, probably because we're descending, it was probably slower higher up. And here we're at 68 at 2,500 feet indicated. Uh, what is that really? Uh, it is 2,500. Uh, well, this well, it doesn't look that much like an eye. Still interesting up ahead what that looks like, huh? Well, we're going into that, whatever it is. Okay, back up to 70 knots here on the wind speed. Oh, 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 something just happened. Uh, there was just a serious fluctuation in things and we plunged down. Oh, 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 okay. Good thing I adjusted the... Oh, uh, the wind speed just went down to 11. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. And now we're going up really fast. My, uh, wow, yeah, we, we went up really fast there. Okay, we're in the interesting part of the hurricane now. Now we're talking. Suddenly it's 12 knots only. And yeah, it pushed us down initially and then we got lifted up, but suddenly, suddenly the wind is completely different here. I don't know if this is what's supposed to happen, but... We were just at 70 knots and now it's 12. And that was quite dangerous for a sec there. Now it's just stuck at 12, 13 knots. Is this the eye? <laughs> well, oh, uh, wow, we, uh, okay, and then we just hit a whole lot of wind. So I think that was the eye. The part where it was only 12, 13 knots, and we just passed right through it. And now it's 66 knots suddenly. And we're at 4,000 feet suddenly. I was like at 2,000 feet, and then suddenly we're at 4,000. We're not getting like 100 knot winds or anything like that, but some dramatic effects there. Let me turn around and see if we get the same deal. Up 74, 75 ish. 75 ish. I don't know, maybe I misplaced the eye. We have gone a little bit further west than we were before. Maybe it's within that sort of wall thing there. I don't know. Go that way. Something with a weather map would have been more useful, but. Those things just don't have no liveries, so what can I do? Well, heading back in this time, we haven't seen any sudden dip in speed. We'll see. 
Nightshade, the wind speed is less than it was before. I think maybe the hurricane has moved on a bit. I mean, it's not that fast, but uh, since we're trying to fly through exactly the same place that I flew through last time, it will have moved on a bit compared to that. I'm not entirely sure how small the eye is. We'll just hit the custom marker and then we will head over to Taipei to land. Maybe they just had a weather update and that moved things along a bit. For our leg to Taipei, we'll try and go higher up and take a look at it from a higher altitude. So we won't be trying to experience the the brunt of the winds or anything like that. I only got up to 70 knots. I think probably it's going faster than that right now, but I'm not sure. Um, uh, current status report uh, says that current wind speed 90 knots, max predicted wind speed 115 knots. So uh, it's not at its full strength yet. Maybe 70 is not too bad an estimate. I mean, uh, we had gotten past 64 knots, and it says the radius of the 64 knot winds is about 20 nautical miles. Max sustained winds, 95 knots. Gusts 115. I didn't quite get that, but and right now it's a bit slower, so it's possible we've moved out of the critical area, and that's further north, is what I would be guessing. So if the wind speed increases, we'll continue at the lower altitude, but if it starts decreasing, I'll go up. Okay, yeah, I don't think we're getting higher winds out here, so I'm gonna climb. Well, lots of clouds. We are now at 9,000 feet, uh, though probably it's a little bit off from that. Yeah, let's readjust. Let me just go back to more normal barometer reading. Oh, nice to get above the weather. If you're not actually trying to investigate the weather, but we were. We're still not quite above the highest of the cloud layers, but we're we're out of it now. That's what it looks like behind us. Well, right now we're at a little bit less than 17,000 feet, and we're about a little less than an hour away from Taipei. Ground speed 289 knots. Okay, we are now approaching the coast of Taiwan, and that is what it looks like. And we will start descending momentarily. Everything's still looking green as far as the engine stress visualizer, nothing particularly spectacular going on otherwise. It has been a two hour or so flight. Okay, well we're gonna fly over Taipei and then come around. And there is Taipei. As we get a clearing through the clouds here. We're still pretty high up though. There's, there was uh, Orbix scenery for Taipei. I think it was freeware Orbix scenery. Wondering which buildings count as part of it, but I don't see a whole lot here, but there are a few things here and there. Well, there is an interesting building right there. I don't know what it is, but it's there all right. Well, it's probably too cloudy to get a good sense of the city. So we'll just head into the air. Oh wait, wait I think oh well let's let's head over to I just saw, I think, Taipei 101 right there. So, alright. Let me 
go around and let's take a look at it. I don't know if I could get another sense of where it is. The clouds that are constantly in the way and I don't know the layout of the area as well as I probably should. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Well, rather shrouded in mists right now. So there's sort of Z fighting on one uh, in some of the buildings there. Maybe two models of it conflicting or something. Uh, there we go, flying by of Type B101, and on to the airport. We're landing at RCTP. Okay, well, wonderful weather for an approach, of course. And we really need to slow down a bit. Hopefully, the turn will help. Okay, uh, well, one of those two runways is the one I want. I'll go for this one over here. Sort of compensating for wind that isn't there, weirdly enough. Okay. Okay. And we've touched down. Okay, off we go. So, that's a wrap for this flight. Okay, so anyway, after a two and a half hour flight to investigate the Typhoon, Typhoon Hinamor, Hinamnor. Uh, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.